Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, you guys. I just randomly said I'm gonna make this video. This video I wanna talk about briefly with you guys is I see so many people putting themselves down mentally and emotionally because they, they reached out to somebody who is toxic. They reached out out of vulnerability. They reached out because they felt alone. They reached out because their ego, they, they wanted attention. They wanted validation. They wanted to feel love. They wanted to feel appreciated. They wanted, wanted, they, they wanted to feel validated. They wanted to, you know, feel seen. They wanted attention. They wanted affection. They wanted companionship. They wanted this temporary, let's really be honest with us, ourselves is that temporary feeling that temporary feeling of feeling whole that temporary feeling of feeling complete that temporary feeling of feeling high right i think there's something inside of your brain they say the dopamine or something like that like being with a toxic person is legit going through withdrawal when you break up with them like your 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 body and your brain and your emotions is so used to one minute being high one minute being low one minute being being high one minute being low one minute you're super super happy you feel amazing that person's treating you like you're the best thing on earth da -da 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 -da. and then the next minute they're fighting with you with no no reason at all accusing you telling you you're cheating you're lying you're this you're that or they put you down or they yell at you for like the stupidest little thing you move something of theirs or something happens they had a bad day or something and they blow up on you randomly so now you're back to feeling like shit that person put you on a pedestal made you feel so good and now you're back to feeling like shit and now when you break up with that person or that person leaves you for another supply, you're, you're back to square one feeling that emptiness and feeling that feeling that you want that high back. You want that person to treat you good and come and give you companionship or you know make you feel, you just want that high back so badly. So you end up reaching out to that person to get that high back. They come back inside of your life, they give you that temporary high, and then they leave you high and dry. And then you're back to square one, and then you're back to square one feeling like shit, feeling like, oh my God, like why did I do that to my body? Why did I do that to myself? Why did I use myself? Like why did I, I know that person treats me like shit. I know that person lies to me. I know that person's abusive mentally and emotionally, but I still, I still want their attention. I still want their validation. I still want them to, you know, show me that they care. I still want this, da, 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 and want, want, want. And you're finding yourself then now beating yourself up. Now you, you now move from being the victim to now being the abuser to your own self. And a lot of people, a lot of people don't realize this. A lot of people end up continu continuously abusing themselves mentally and emotionally, putting themselves down worse than what the, the, the other abuser did to us. Because we keep, we keep saying, like asking ourselves all these wrong questions. Was it me? Did I do something wrong? Why is he treating this person good? But not, why is she, she treat, treating this person good and not treating me good? Or, you know, why is it that she can't see my worth? Or why is he can't see my worth? Why is he treating this girl good, but not me? And we ask all these wrong questions. And then we just keep putting our, our value down on ourselves because we keep abusing ourselves, saying that it's something wrong with us. Like if something has to be wrong, this is how these, these toxic people manipulate you from the things that actions they take, the words they say, the things that they do to make you feel like you're the problem. Reality check-in. You are not the fucking 
problem. You are not the problem. I'm here to tell you that because at the end of the day, I was abused mentally and emotionally and put myself down for 18 years. 18 years with a toxic person who to this day still makes me still tries to put me down mentally and emotionally that I'm not a good mom or I'm not this or I'm not that and did it and her and I came to realize her people her people at the end of the day people that are toxic don't know how to deal with their own traumas they don't know how to deal with their hurt and their pain I was talking to a friend I was saying there's two types of people that got traumatized when they're younger and grow up to be older, there's two types of people that deal with their traumas. They become the bully. They become the person who traumatized them and hurt them. But then there's those people who been through trauma and, and would do anything possible not to hurt another human being, not to be that person who abused them when, or, or traumatized them when they were younger. So there's two, there's two they... That, that the person who becomes the bully and, and hurts people, they don't function the same as the people who got trauma, traumatized and want to never hurt somebody else. You guys think two different ways. So at the end of the day, you have to realize that you can't compare yourself to that other person. You can't, they will never see things the way that you see things. And that's why that person treats you the way that they treat you and you feel the way that you feel. So at the end of the day, it it's always comes back down to you to realize there's nothing wrong with you. It's actually their inner, inner problems that they have that they don't know how to heal from it. They don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to, to get better in themselves mentally and emotionally. So then how is it fair to yourself if you know you don't like hurting people, you don't want to treat people bad, but then you're constantly pitting yourself down. You're being the bully to yourself. You're hurting yourself by not wrapping your head to understand that you guys are just two different people and you cannot compare yourself to another person who's toxic and doesn't see things the way that you see things, right? You just have to focus in and narrow in and focus on you and how you see things and how you can do for yourself and not become that person that you keep asking, why are they like this? Why are they doing this to me? Why are they so mean? You're becoming that person to your own self. When you put yourself down, when you judge yourself, when you when you feel that something's wrong with you, when you ask yourself, you know, what did I do so wrong? You're constantly bullying yourself in a different way. And it's time to wake the fuck up and, and, and stop putting yourself down. If you make a slip up and you make a mistake and you message that toxic person or you still are begging for them or you want that attention, don't put yourself down for for still feeling that way. Don't, don't, don't. All I'm saying is that don't judge yourself. At the end of the day, you have to understand that life is not happening to you. Life is happening for you. That life is a huge learning lesson and that there's great things to be learned in the mistakes that you make. There's great things to be learned in this down moment that you're begging, you're crawling, you're asking him to come back or you're making the same mistakes and you keep staying with him or you keep sleeping with him or you go back and you you broke up with him. Whatever it is, I've been there, done that. And I'm here to tell you after 18 years, right? I still have those feelings. I still have those feelings I wanna message him. I still have those feelings that I want attention. I still want validation from them i still we all we're only human and we've been conditioned to feel high and then feel low for so long so at the end of the day how can you be so hard on yourself when you feel those feelings the most important thing is to recognize why am i feeling those feelings and try to heal those feelings myself instead of relying on the outside world or somebody else to fill that void because at the end of the day, nothing's going to help you fill that void that you feel. That you keep trying to get somebody else to fill that void inside of you. And until you can learn that lesson, is until that's until when you can heal, right? But until then, experience each experience without judging yourself. Because at the end of the day, that is just you yourself becoming that same bully that same toxic person who was hurting you, you're becoming the enemy. You're becoming that person. 
to your own self by judging yourself, by putting yourself down, by making yourself, asking yourself these questions like if you're not worthy when you are enough. Remember this, and I'll leave off as this, is you're God's greatest creation. God created you perfect in his image, meaning that you are whole and you are complete. And if you are whole and complete, everything that that toxic person has to give you, you can give it to yourself because you are born with it. You are created with it. Love, peace, happiness, harmony, joyfulness, abundance, abundance, feeling, feeling, feeling affectionate, feeling loved, feeling whole, like everything that person can give you and offer you, you can give yourself because you are born with it. You are born with it. It is your birthright for you to now tap back into that feeling and start feeling whole within you and understanding that that person is just a temporary high, a temporary high, a temporary fix. And just like a drug addiction, you have to go through withdrawal syndrome. You have to, you have to want to quit. You have to say enough is enough. And until you feel that way, don't become that toxic person to your own damn self because it's not fair to you. At the end of the day, right? Understand that whatever it is that you're going through is a journey and that it's going to take time. And everything is a great, great learning lesson inside of your life to learn from every slip up, every mistake, every time that that person treats you like shit, every time that you message that person, every time you try to want to go back, every time that, you know, you guys get into a fight or an argument, whatever it is, understand that it's all part of your journey and your learning lessons to bring you to bigger and better that these are all experiences, these are all learning lessons, and at the end of the day, you are the creator of your reality, and you are in control of your inner universe. Nobody else but you. So everybody else who has an opinion on what you're doing, and how you're making the same mistake, and you should know better, and blah, 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 let everybody else talk, because they ain't walking in your shoes. They ain't feeling your emotions. They ain't feeling the hurt and the pain that you go through every day, feeling alone, feeling sad. They don't feel none of that shit. So at the end of the day, don't let society, your family members, your friends, anybody to pass judgment on you on what you're going through. Because at the end of the day, it's your journey and you have to walk it and you and you alone. God brought you in this world by yourself. You're coming out of this world by yourself. And the only person that can take control and get up and say enough is enough is you. So when you are ready and when you feel that you learn all the lessons that you have learned, that's when you can stand tall and walk forward and get over the addiction of wanting this person inside of your life to fill that temporary hole with inside of you. But understand that it takes time. And that the only person that can judge you is the man up above. And that the only person that is going through this shit is you. It's not nobody else. Not your friends, not your family, an auntie, uncle, nobody else but you. So the only person that can answer a lot of the questions you, that you may be feeling inside of you is you. It's yes, it's nice to seek professional help and get help this and get help that. But honestly, there's nobody else that's going to know the answers that you need more than your damn self, more than you yourself, your inner voice, trust your intuition. If you're a woman, if you're a man, listen to this, whatever the case may be, this works for both ways, this, this conversation, because there is toxic women out there as well that, that are narcissists or that are really messed up towards men. There are, right? I've seen it. So at the end of the day, this conversation is for, you know, women and men. But at the end of the day, there's something. I'm a woman who could speak on this. Woman's intuition is never freaking wrong. Trust your woman's intuition. If you're a woman listening to this, trust your intuition. You half of the time, you know, you know what to do. You know what you know the answers. You know this and all. if you don't listen to your intuition and you make a mistake, it's okay. At the end of the day, that the you God, the universe, whatever you believe in, that needed to happen. For you to learn, 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 learn. And each time you slip up, each time you make a mistake, each time you go back, each time you allow this toxic person to disrespect you or treat you bad, what? 
each time you're building up resilience to become stronger, wiser, and you're going to see it over time, you will become stronger and wiser. And you will have that strength to say to yourself, you know, I love myself too much to allow this toxic person back into my life. The best advice that I can give and the best thing that I can share that I did is set healthy motherfucking boundaries. Understand what are your boundaries inside of your life with everybody you have within it and start setting them. And at the end of the day, Start doing inner work. Start understanding, you know, why don't, I, why don't I love myself? Why do I allow people to treat me this way? I hear a lot of people say all the time, oh, this person treats me like shit, or this person is disrespectful, or this person doesn't trust me, da-da-da-da, that you're with, and they, you keep, and, and a lot of women and men say this, oh, they can't get no better than me, I'm the best thing that they can have. Listen, at the end of the day, you could say blah, 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 blah that you're better, you're this, you're that, da 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 Toxic people, they really don't care. They could replace you at the end of it because they don't see things the way that you see things. They don't view things the way that you are viewing things inside of your head. They really, they don't care. They don't have uh, emotions the way you may have your emotion. And that's okay. You're you and they're them. They, they, God gave us all free will. We're entitled to feel how we want to feel. But at the end of the day, we also are entitled to pick our asses up and say we don't, if we know all these great things about ourselves, then we should not be accepting it. We should be setting healthier boundaries and seeing where those boundaries are going to take us with that person, right? To under, show them, stop talking it and show them. And at the end of the day, God will show you, the universe will show you if that person was really meant to be in your life. They will be there, they will level up, they will step up, and they will start respecting your boundaries, and you'll see things starting to change. But what's the what's the definition of insanity insanity? I think the definition of insanity is 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 what? It is basically doing the same, wanting different results, but doing the same damn shit over and over and over again. And this is what happens with a lot of people who are in toxic relationships, is we keep doing the same shit. But accepting, diff um, wanting different results it doesn't work that way. You are literally driving yourself insane, insane with wanting different results, but keep doing the same, keep allowing the person to do the same damn shit to you. Stop accept expecting different results if you keep accepting the same damn shit for the person to keep hurting you or doing the same damn shit to you. At the end of the day, it starts with you, your responsibility, and your responsibility alone right to learn the lessons that you need to learn on your pace and stop being the bully to yourself because at the end of the day you can't get yourself out of situations if you are putting yourself down you can't get yourself out of, of toxic situations if you are the one that's bullying yourself more than that person is bullying you right so it all starts with you i hope that this message has helped you in some sort of way to man stop judging yourself stop being the bully to yourself stop putting yourself down if you messed up if you made a mistake if you keep going back live your journey don't let nobody else make you feel no way about you living your journey because it's your journey and your journey alone to go through and one day you will you will wake up and you will learn the mistakes that you need to learn in god's timing so just trust trust yourself that you are worthy of greatness and don't beat yourself up that's all i, I could really say is don't stop beating yourself up. You're God's greatest creation. You shouldn't be beating yourself up. You're already taking abuse from a toxic person. Don't give that abuse to yourself. Wise up and level up by understanding that you are going through a great journey. That this journey is going to take you to bigger and better things in due timing. Thanks for watching, you guys. I say in all my videos, each one teach one. Share the love. Share the knowledge. If this video has is, is inspired you or uplift you or empowered you in some sort of way share it with somebody else that needs to hear this thanks so much for watching guys tune in and if you guys want to join my wise up rise up community go check out my podcast on spotify and on anchor it's called wise up rise up i also have a facebook group called the wise up rise up i'm starting a movement to empower people to get out of toxic situations by focusing on ourselves because we are the ones that are worthy to live our best lives. It's not about that other person, it's about you. So let's get it.